Welcome to Waco Family Medicine, Cooking Fresh. This is the first in a series of videos for our patients who are participating in the prescription boxes, who get food from the food pantries, and are on a reduced budget. We want to show you today how you can take ingredients that you may not have used before and substitute them for healthier choices. All right, so for this recipe, you will need a chef's knife, of course, and you will need measuring spoons, a fork to flake your spaghetti squash with, and you'll need some tongs and a fish turner or a spatula. Spaghetti squash sometimes it seems very hard to cut. One little trick is you can soften it in the microwave so that you can get a clean, even cut. If you're cooking this in the microwave for 10 minutes in the oven, it's going to need another 40 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes in the oven. And so you're just scraping up the squash threads there, and then it'll be ready to go. We're going to put some olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of that pan. And we have our seasonings, our coriander, purple onion, garlic, cayenne pepper, salt, cumin, black pepper, and then some lemon juice and cilantro for garnish. We're using some um, Argentine shrimp today, but you can use whichever kind you want. And these are the shrimp all seasoned. So we want to get our pan hot enough for it to sizzle. I hope y'all hear this. We don't have smell-o-vision, so y'all can't smell it. And they're coated very nicely with our seasonings. And you want to cook your shrimp just until they curl and form a C. I have a good dear chef friend says if they close in an O, it's overcooked. So I'm going to add some of the onion in there and the garlic. And we'll add a little of that uh, lemon juice in there, and then a quarter cup of our broth. We can cover that so it can steam really good, and while I'm doing that, I'll prepare the squash. Just want to pour about a teaspoon of butter over that. So just a about a teaspoon, about that much. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of the garlic and mix that in together. So now we're ready to just reheat our spaghetti squash. All right, so we're just about ready to plate our shrimp and spaghetti squash. So now I'm just putting a bed of the spaghetti squash into our bowl. And then we have a beautiful shrimp that we're going to put on top of that and we want to get some of that good sauce that it made, which is our lemon, olive oil, butter. And then we're just going to garnish with some cilantro. Cilantro is always good when it's fresh. And that's our finished dish. Mm -hmm. 